This video will discuss bacterial infections, how to prevent them, and how to treat them. Our aquarium water is full of both beneficial and harmful bacteria. Generally speaking, a healthy fish's natural immune system is able to keep harmful bacteria at bay. However, there are several proactive measures you can take to assist with this. Pristine water conditions and overall good tank husbandry will help tremendously as this promotes overall healthy living conditions for our finned friends. A fish's gut flora supports its immune system, so your fish are only going to be as healthy as what they eat. In the ocean, fish do not eat flake food and pellets, so we suggest that you use these sparingly. What they do eat is seafood, clams, mussels, scallops, shrimp, oysters, and even other fish. So look for frozen aquarium foods which contain raw seafood. And don't forget to feed nori. Only strict carnivores will refuse to pick at nori on a clip. You can food soak vitamins, probiotics, and even beta-glucan to boost a fish's immune system against pathogenic bacteria. When fish fight, that can lead to cuts and open wounds, which are areas that pathogenic bacteria are capable of infecting. And finally, a UV sterilizer is a great tool for reducing harmful bacteria from the water column. Why do bacterial infections occur? Many times the fish's natural immune system is already battling a pre-existing parasitic or worm infestation. So when harmful bacteria infects the tiny holes caused by feeding parasites or worms, the immune system gets overwhelmed. If you didn't already have enough valid reasons to quarantine your fish, avoiding secondary bacterial infections is one more reason why. As previously mentioned, anytime a fish has a cut or wound, that provides an opening for pathogenic bacteria to infect, just like with humans. Certain bacteria, which are fortunately uncommon, can be extremely virulent in a closed system. Vibrio, Mycobacterium, and Septicemia are examples. So what does a bacterial infection look like? We have provided various photos of fish with bacterial infections throughout this presentation, but here are some key things to look for. Any redness or open sores and wounds on a fish should be viewed with suspicion. A white film or slime or fungus looking growth can denote a bacterial infection. Cloudy eyes, frayed fins, or fin and tail rot are all good indications. And bloating can denote an internal bacterial infection. Just keep in mind that many of these symptoms can mean something else, possibly a different disease entirely, so we encourage you to ask questions and post photos on our forum in order to obtain help in making a proper diagnosis. Sometimes vitamins, proper nutrition, and clean water are just not enough. Sometimes a fish's natural immune system needs a helping hand, like our own. When to use antibiotics is not an easy decision. It's a judgment call. As a general rule, we only recommend doing so if A, the fish looks really bad, or B, it is a newly acquired fish showing signs of infection. Antibiotics can be administered via intramuscular injection, medicated baths, dosed in the water, food soaked, or even applied topically. We will include a link to a list of antibiotics that can be used in the comments section. Just keep in mind that most of these antibiotics are not reef safe, so they are best used in a quarantine tank. Some antibiotics can be laced in food and even be made reef safe this way if care is taken to prepare them. Lowering water temperature to 72 degrees Fahrenheit and decreasing salinity to 1.017 can help in three ways. One, it can slow progression of a bacterial infection. Two, it can reduce metabolic demands on the fish. And three, it can decrease damage from a fish's immune response. It is also very important to nurture a fish's natural immune system while treating a bacterial infection. This can be done by feeding nutritious foods and also food soaking vitamins, probiotics, and beta-glucan. Antibiotics in and of themselves do not cure a fish. Antibiotics merely control the population growth of bacteria in a fish long enough for its immune system to eliminate them. Thank you for watching our video. See links in the comment section for more detailed information. And join us on our Humble Fish and Reef Forum at humble.fish for all reef aquarium related discussion.